However, as we look up ahead, it's really slowing as we come up on Stadium Way just past the two intersection. And one of the things we heard from the uh, one of the trailing units on the ground was that one of the tires may be flat or going flat. So he's going to have a difficult time maneuvering through with a flat tire if that is indeed true. So again, we've got some more information that just came through there saying that, uh, of course, that these are burglary suspects now. It wasn't just a simple failure to yield. But uh, so it looks like we've got some motivation by the driver and the occupants to try and get away. Now, they've come a straight shot down on the 5 freeway from Castaic. So it looks like they're not uh, tr simply trying to get away from the officers, trying to put distance from them, but perhaps getting to a certain location that perhaps they're more familiar with. And, of course, that is something that we've seen quite often in these pursuits. Into the center divider, he's going to be coming underneath the 2 freeway. Now, uh, and uh, just past, uh, it'll be passing Stadium Way. There's quite a bit of traffic ahead of him. However, he's using that center divider uh, area, the clear center divider area, to maneuver, maneuver through. Now, the sheriff's helicopter that was overseen has just departed. He is turned it over to the CHP now. Uh, right now, it's uh, it's really in the, the CHP's uh, uh, milieu right now, uh, since it's on the freeway here. Of course, there's going to be a CH the uh, sheriff's department could be very interested in, in it for those burglary charges that these people may be facing. Again, southbound 5, perhaps a... a uh, a flattening tire on this SUV is just past Stadium Way. He's coming up on the 5 Freeway 110 interchange here shortly, but it looks like, again, he's maintaining in that center divider as much as he is able, so he'll probably not continue uh, or not uh, transition off to the 110, but uh, continue on the 5 if he is able. Looking through downtown towards the uh, East LA interchange, we've got a remarkably good amount of traffic, or a, a light amount of traffic, I should say, for this time of day as we start getting into the afternoon commute so uh thankfully for uh, the other motors on the uh on the freeway this person has a fair amount of room to maneuver again that uh, this darkened area here is right by the 110 freeway and the 5 freeway he'll be crossing over the la river here shortly and back out into the sunshine we'll get a better view hopefully we'll get a better view of that uh that flattening tire if indeed that is correct now it looks as though he is uh making that transition up to the 5 freeway, if this is correct. Yes, he's making the transition to the southbound 101, make that 110 freeway. And uh, we're going to maneuver uh, to the right to uh, keep an eye on him. Hold on a second. Uh, Tim, we got you inside there. Yeah, southbound 5, make that southbound 110 freeway. He's going to be heading towards the, uh, the downtown I'm sorry, we're talking to the CHP ship here. He uh, He's going to be asking for a little altitude. He, we, of course, are going to give him as much altitude as possibly can. Uh, again, southbound on the 110 freeway heading towards downtown Los Angeles. And I've driven this route many times, many times to the different days and nights. And uh, it's remarkable that he's got this much uh, uh, room to maneuver. Now, he's going to be coming up on the hill interchange or the hill off-ramp here shortly. It looks like he is maneuvering around not to stay on the hill off-ramp, but the southbound 110 freeway. It's going to be slowing dramatically as we come up to the 4 level, which is the uh, intersection of the 110 freeway and the 101 freeway. And looking down through the downtown slot, um, and amazing, uh, amazingly, it doesn't have much uh, traffic at all. We've got a car that's over to the side right now. People are maneuvering around. It almost hit that one vehicle. Of course, that one vehicle did not know. That, well, look at this. He's trying, they're trying to box him in, or they're just uh, unaware of what this person wants to do, trying to maneuver around. And I uh, slowed down there dramatically. However, uh, he's able, as we said, to go ahead and pick it up. Coming up now for the to the four level. We're listening to the CHP. All right, Derek, while you listen into the CHP, we're going to remind our viewers you're joining us live. KCAL 9 News at 3 o'clock, a pursuit on the southbound 110. This started about one hour ago and about 50 miles ago in the Castaic area. Three burglary suspects inside this vehicle. I'm Sandra Mitchell along with Susie Saw here this afternoon. Yeah, we understand that this uh, originally started as a home burglary at the 32,000 block of Ridgetop Lane. That's in the city of Castaic. Uh, a neighbor actually... Uh, 
actually the, the resident, the homeowner of that home uh, was scared away by those suspects and fleed the home and then actually went to a neighbor's to call sheriff's deputies. They arrived on the scene. Of course, they had already fled already. Uh, three vehicles, uh, three suspects in that vehicle. Uh, as, as far as we know, we don't know exactly if they had gotten away with anything, but we do know that they have been uh, speeding uh, down the five freeway and then made the uh, 110 interchange just not too long ago. Yeah, the five freeway going up to 100 miles an hour. The only description we have, three male suspects inside this SUV. Let's go back up live to Derek Bell overhead. Derek. Yeah, he's coming through the downtown slot. As you can see, he's got uh, a pretty open road uh, all around him here, which is remarkable for this area this time of day. He's coming up to the 10 freeway interchange right now. Uh, if he opts to maintain southbound on the 110 freeway, he'll be going by the Coliseum. Left or right, it'll be on the 10 freeway, either towards Santa Monica or back towards East Los Angeles. So we're going to see what he uh, plans to do. It does not look as though he's getting over to the right to make the transition uh, much at all. There's just the one lane change there, but speeding on. So it looks like he's going to continue southbound on the 110 freeway towards South Los Angeles. Uh, this being the case, we're going to have to talk to the Los Angeles Tower here to get clearance through their area. So we'll be talking to you here in just a bit. You know, Sergeant Darren Harris with the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Department had mentioned that uh, on the uh, SUV that we see here speeding uh, on the 110 freeway right now, that uh, there was some sort of problem with the tire, possibly a flat tire. Now, how far can someone go on a flat tire like that? Well, this guy's been moving pretty mm -hmm. far and pretty quickly as well. As we mentioned, speeds up to 100 miles an hour. He has slowed dramatically now as the traffic picks up as he gets closer to downtown Los Angeles. And uh, as Derek told us, he's on the 110 right now. It appears that he might be heading into the East Los Angeles area. Three men inside this vehicle, all of them burglary suspects linked to a burglary attempt in uh, the Castaic area this afternoon. This all started about an hour ago in the Santa Clarita Valley. The Sheriff's Department there took off with the pursuit and then handed it over to the CHP. We know there are about six CHP cars right behind this SUV driving in very dangerous conditions yeah, as this well afternoon. As, yeah, as well as motorcycle officers. So uh, a lot of people uh, chasing that car right now. But we also know that uh, there possibly a flat tire on that car. So it's just a matter of time, I think, uh, how, how long this pursuit can actually go on. Uh, we know that uh, they have been weaving in and out of lanes. Uh, luckily, there hasn't been uh, much traffic um, on the five southbound freeway where this all started at the 126, uh, took us through the uh, 170 split, uh, and then also to the 110 interchange uh, where we are right now, southbound 110 in downtown Los Angeles. And uh, we do know that uh, they were going at very high, uh, high rate of speed. Let's go back to the telephone right now, Susie. We have Officer John Lutz from the CHP uh, Newhall station with us. And uh, Officer, uh, I know you're there in the Santa Clarita Valley. Did your officers then uh, initiate this pursuit? Uh, no, we, we actually were asked for assistance from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And can you tell us more information about what the strategy is right now? Because this guy's moving very quickly. Well, he is right now, and so we're, we're going to be pursuing him from area to area um, in a safe and prudent manner um, in order to uh, get get this to a conclusion that's uh, safe for everybody out on the, on the highways as well as the suspects. And, Officer, you have to be really concerned about uh, possible traffic ahead. Uh, as we know, we're going into a commute, uh, you know, high peak traffic time in that area. That's correct, but he'll be traversing from area to area, and as he does, uh, we'll, we'll, our manpower will be there and ready for him. And, Officer, uh, when you say a safe and prudent manner, what does that mean? What are the techniques that they're using? Well, right now they're, they're following him and uh, monitoring his progress through traffic. Uh, eventually he's going to come up here to commute traffic, and we may have uh, issues uh, as he comes to a stop. So right now uh, we're just making sure that he gets through traffic safely. And do you have any information about a possible flat tire on that vehicle? I do not at this time. And what do you advise for commuters, uh, you know, when they see a, a pursuit like this behind them, what do you uh, advise the drivers to do? Well, just like the move over law, when you see the emergency red lights, you need to yield to the right and uh, let, let them pass. Try not to uh, you know, interfere in any way. The information we have is that there are three male suspects inside the vehicle. We haven't heard if they might have any weapons. Do you have any more information on that? I don't have any more information at this time. Uh, like I said, you might be able to contact the local L.A. County Sheriff's Department and uh, see if the, they might have further details. 
Yeah, we're certainly working on that. All right, Officer John Lutz from the CHP office in New Hall. Thank you so much for joining us on the telephone this afternoon. Let's go back up to Derek Bell. Derek, um, kind of lost track of the vehicle. Derek, are you with us? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like the, the pursuit has terminated here. Pan to the right a little bit. It looks as though it came to a stop here. Uh, we're going to try and get this street just off the 110 freeway south. of. Uh, it's on Flower, just south of the uh, Coliseum here. Uh, he got over to the right lane and uh, got off very quickly. We were in a uh, position when not able to see him due to the fact that we were staying away from the uh, police helicopters we're overseeing. Apparently, at least one person has jumped out and run. Uh, we understand that he has uh, one person has a uh, white uh, t-shirt, blue, blue pants, and he is on a phone. We're going to try and get that person here. But again, it looks like it's come to an end here, right off the 110 freeway at Flower. And, uh, Okay, uh, we're going to try and get this location here. Yeah, it's un unknown right, so here. We're still looking around for it. Derek, we have one suspect out of the vehicle, white t-shirt, blue pants, and possibly talking on his cell phone. Do we believe the other two male suspects still inside that vehicle? I'm sorry about that. It looks as though we're zooming into the area where it was last seen. Derek, do we know if the Man other two the right are, are... Just a little bit. We understand he might be right in this location here, jumped out. Uh, moved into this area here. The difficulty for us is that once we're down here, low level a, with the air traffic control airspace for LAX, and we had two police helicopters, both the sheriff's and the CHP, we had to maneuver around a little bit. Yeah, and if you're just joining us here on KCAL 9 News at 3 o'clock live, you are watching a pursuit that we're originally gonna try and pick started. Up. We're listening to uh, a lot of uh, it originally of, uh, started in Santa Clarita uh, near the 126. Uh, we have three possible burglary suspects in an SUV. Uh, this uh, pursuit uh, started about uh, at about 2 o'clock and uh, ended at south of the Coliseum in, near downtown L.A. at Flower Street. We understand that one person uh, has jumped out of that vehicle and is fleeing. And, of course, as you see there, uh, of course, police and, of course, CHP officials will be uh, looking for that suspect. Uh, two possibly apprehended. We have no Information on that just yet. Derek, are you still with us? Back to the uh, termination of the pursuit, we're going to see that uh, SUV if we pan to the left, right by the freeway down here, right in the center of the free screen, right there. You can see that the uh, the SUV spun around and then uh, facing uh, the wrong di wrong direction here, facing eastbound on the westbound lanes. Uh, that's where we had at least one of the people uh, jump out and ran. The one person there is in custody at least. And uh, so this is going to be the termination of this pursuit. Back to you in the studio. All right, Derek Bell, thanks. As you, we see those live pictures, left side of your screen right there, the end of this pursuit, it lasted about one hour. Right side of your screen is the actual pursuit as the driver moves in that SUV about 100 miles an hour. For most of the pursuit, he was on the southbound 5, moving mm -hmm. all the way from the Santa Clarita Valley towards downtown L.A., and then taking that 110 south toward the Coliseum where the pursuit ended just a few moments ago. Yeah, that one-hour pursuit uh, started again southbound 5 from the 126, uh, went into the 170 split, then onto the uh, oh, past the 118, then onto the 170 split, then onto the 110 freeway at very high rates of speed, weaving in and out of traffic. Also, we watched, uh, as you see there on your right-hand uh, corner of your screen, screen there, we watched the car actually. It was boxed in by other vehicles. Of course, uh, a lot of drivers out there not knowing what's going on. Derek, it didn't appear that there were any accidents involved in this besides the end of the pursuit. Of, uh... Is that right? Okay, it looks like they're, they're taking that last person into custody right here, about two blocks away from the termination of the pursuit. We understand there was a canine unit out here that got on scene right here. Uh, they chased a person down a, an alleyway, and it looks as though they've gotten them in pursuit, or I'm sorry, in custody here. So uh, it looks like this may be the end of it here. There is the last person, perhaps the driver. He made it about, uh, about a block and a half on foot uh, eastbound, and we're going to try and get the name of that street. Uh, but it looks like this may end up being the code four, as they say, the end of the termination of this pursuit, which you said, of course, started in Castaic with some burglary suspects, took the CHP on a high-speed pursuit over 100 miles an hour southbound on the 5 to the 110 freeway. And uh, it's a negative looking. And uh, and it looks like they are uh, they're taking this one last person into pursuit. So uh, uh, it looks, looks like this is going to be the end of it.
drive overhead in Sky 9 for us this afternoon. The last suspect, all three now in custody, the end of a pursuit near the Coliseum, South Los Angeles. We're going to take a quick break.